Good day, Captains, and welcome to the initial draft of The Long War Season 1. The Long War is a meta game within Fractured Space that revolves around sector control. These sectors will be under conquest from five factions led by some of the most experienced veterans within Fractured Space. These factions are the Talon Cluster Accord, led by Chi, the Alliance of Independent Worlds, led by Seraphine. Foundation, led by Commandos. The Purist Cooperative, led by the Kaika. And Darsan was here will be leading the Collective for Protection and Promotion of Artificial Life Forms. To achieve victory within the Long War, zones will be targeted on a daily basis for acquisition by faction leaders. Victories will count towards dominating that sector. Season 1 of The Long War will run from August 25th to September 12th. Here at Edge Case Games, we have had some willing captains be swooped up by these faction leaders. And I'll begin with the draft. In 20th, we have Dead Man's Question, who will be joining CPP AL. In 19th, the Purists capture Milcho. In 18th, Mr. CW will be joining the foundation. In 17th, Carlair's style has been swept up by Talon. Alliance has chosen for the 16th place Digital Moose. In 15th, Mad Cat Styles has been designated a spot on CPP AL. In 14th, Frexus has been deemed worthy of the purists. In 13th, Foundation has chosen none other than Marbo31. Coming in at 12th, Ren will be joining Talon. At number 11, it's the Dark Knight himself. Snedge has been picked by Alliance. At number 10, Too Many Blows to the Head has been deemed worthy for CPP AL. At number 9, Stex has been accepted into the Purists. At number 8, Foundation has selected Staneth. In at number 7, it is myself, Killer Pigeon, will be joining the ranks of Talon. At number 6, Alliance has picked Toonzilla. At number 5, CPP AL has selected Samakins. At number 4, Newcomer Jedly will be joining the Purists. And into the top 3, Foundation have selected Errorist. And with 51 games played during the draft period and 24 total victories, it's not looking like a bad choice. In at number two, Ginger Gladiator will be joining the ranks of Talon. And 112 games under his belt with 69 victories. It's looking like a victorious run. And in the number one spot, it's the man we all wanted to get through those salt mines. It's Millennia who will be joining Alliance and with 69 games played during the draft period and 20 victories, will it be enough? Moving on to the player draft from 63rd place to 1st, in 63rd, Enriel will be joining Team Talon. In 62, Alliance have picked up Moon. In 61st, Mr. Biggs 007 will be joining CPP AL. In number 60, Mechanaut has been chosen by the Purists. Coming in at 59, BWS Nuts has been selected by the Foundation. At 58, Mad Scientist joins Talon. In at number 57, Spawn from Lower will be joining Alliance. At 56, DB Headshot has been selected by CPP AL. At 55, Zero has been deemed worthy of the purists. At 54, Trekker joins Foundation. In at 53, Talon has chosen Pekka. In at 52, Alliance calls upon Mirage. At number 51, CPP AL call upon the services the Liposian. At number 50, 
the purists join forces with Cake Commander. Coming in at 49, Floyd joins Foundation. At number 48, Pew 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 has been swooped up by Talon. At number 47, Alliance requires the services of Mirrorlog. At 46, CPPAL call upon Hanuta Shnu. At 45, the purists deem Bodsman worthy to join them. Coming in at 44, Eviscerator joins Foundation with an amazing 154 games played during the draft period. At number 43, Birds of a Feather flock together as a penguin joins Talon. At number 42, with an amazing 115 games played during the draft period, Yashimura Gaming is picked up by Alliance. Coming in at 41, Andrew of Doom joins CPP AL. At number 40, ASD joins the Purists. At 39, the Foundation selects Dynalon. At number 38, Talon picks up an Epic Spoon. At number 37, Alliance choose Devaray. At 36, with an impressive 215 games played during the draft period, CPP AL pick up La Saucisse Fertif. Catching up with 211 games played, at 35, it's Yogs who will be joining the Purists. In at 34, Son of the Stars is picked up by Foundation. At 33, Talon pick Black Lion. By Grab Thor's Hammer, Alliance have picked Grab Thor's Hammer. At 31, Prism joins CPP AL. It's the big 3-0 and with an impressive 198 games played during the draft period, it's Cyber Recon who will be joining the Purists. At 29, Foundation select Exagoras. At 28, Talon choose Southern Wolverine. At 27, Zero Strike is selected by Alliance. At 26, King Salty will be joining CPP AL. At number 25, Kark will be joining the Purists. At number 24, with an impressive 247 games played during the draft period, Cyclone Raptor has been picked up by Foundation. Coming in at number 23, Hypergrip will be joining CPP AL. Coming in as the 22nd pick, it's Leroy Jackins joining the Purists. For the 21st pick, Foundation Select, Kurt. Coming in at number 20, the Mad Hatter will be joining Talon. At number 19, Alliance choose Rancid Rants. With an admirable 158 games played, coming in for the 18th pick, CPP AL, choose Rees. At number 17, Yar will be joining the Purists. At number 16, Sardras will be joining Foundation. At 15, Talon choose Interspectra. At number 14, Alliance deem Gamatech worthy of his cooperation. In at 13th place, and chosen by CPP AL, it's Rukwa. At 12, Thuna has been picked by the purists. At number 11, Foundation Select, Littlefoot. At number 10, Alice Margatroyd will be joining Talon. At number 9, with a respectable 274 games played during the draft period, Alliance Select, Akuta. At number 8, Easy will be joining CPP AL. At number 7, and top of the leaderboard with 356 games played during the draft period, Svelther will be joining the Purists. Coming in at number 6, Operator will be joining Foundation. With an impressive 202 games played, coming at number 5, Talon have selected Kirin Ketsu. For the 4th pick, Fispy has been selected by Alliance. Coming into the top 3, Arc Xenotarius will be joining forces with CPP AL. In 2nd place pick, MG will be joining the Purists. And number one pick, it's probably because of his Guardian plays, Robert P. Dot has been selected by Foundation.